review of the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Omni from RetroRadionics.co.uk. Firstly it's um, well it's a great looking little piece of kit straight out of the box. It is brand new. Uh, new moulds made by Georgie Mitic and sorry if I got the name wrong and uh, everything is new. New keypad, new um, overlay, fascia and uh, a completely new board inside. As you can see it's all nice and shiny and bright. On the side got two joystick ports, SD ports and the NMI button to uh, bring the SD ports to life so you can load straight from an SD card which is just fantastic. The rear, there's the power and an on-off switch which was always a f missing feature on the ZX Spectrum. An expansion port which uh, allegedly works with most of the peripherals that are available. Still got the mic and ear ports. An HDMI port which is not working currently but can be modified to work. And uh, there's the output for the TV which goes to a SCART lead. Um, gives a very nice output on the picture. Um, keyboard, the standard rubber key keyboard which many of us know and love from our youths. And uh, on this side the reset button which was on the later Spectrum Plus 2's but not on the original rubber keys. So instead of having to pull the plug every time you can switch off or just hit the reset button. Um, so that's a really nice piece of kit. Um, there's a little added extra that we weren't aware of when we were paying for them but it's actually engraved with your name on the bottom. That's just a remarkable piece of uh, added extra from Georgie. It's just really fantastic Retro Radionics engraves your name on the piece of kit you've brought. And uh, at the bottom, the rubber feet all of these parts have been remade in China, new moulds, um, everything's brand spanking new and all these parts are now available. You can buy different colour cases, different colour fascias, key mats, they sell the whole thing really to make a brand new spectrum with uh, some modern updates. So that's just a first quick look at it, I'll connect it up and then we'll be and right back. We're back. Switch on and nothing because some silly person has forgotten to turn on the switch for the power supply. So it loads up into the 1992 Sinclair Research Limited. Uh, there's a load of um, switches on the side. If I can get in there, uh, can't really see them there. But there they are, and you can change all the settings for ROMs, so you can load different ROMs, uh, turn off the joystick ports, and various other features. Uh, one of the bugbears is that we haven't yet got a full instruction manual for it, but people are working on it, and when that comes we'll know what all those switches do. So back to the screen. I get a slight pinky picture on my TV. Um, don't really know why. But let's try the NMI switch, and there you go. It loads straight up into the menu with um, all of our games listings. Then we can select using the cursor keys on the keyboard. So each press take us down or up and across will take us to the next screen full of stuff and back again. So those are done on the cursor keys. If I go down and if I can hit down no, I keep getting this wrong the perils of live videoing 
So we've got to um, let's have a look at some of the demos. There's the demos, and when we press Enter, we go into this next folder. So let's try this one. Ooh, could be rude. As you can see, it's instantly loaded. Focus. It doesn't do it justice on a phone, but the sound is absolutely amazing coming through some cheap PC speakers that I've got next to the TV. And that's um, AY sound. It also does the beeper sound. Although no internal beeper, but one can be fitted. Um, as I say, it's a very nice piece of kit. Go back to there and out of there, and let's try another demo. Let's try, um, That one doesn't seem to do very much. Oh, push a button and away we go. Sorry about the camera shake, that's just my my hands trying to hold the camera steady, or the phone steady while I do this. my button and back to the menu and we'll um we'll back out of there and try one of the spectrum classics so where's uh let's look for the classic Manic M. I wonder what that could be. And that's a 48k beeper sound coming through the big speakers next to my TV. So, 
it's a little bit quieter than the AY sound and some people have got complaints that you can't hear it above the AY sound when there's spot effects in a game I haven't tried that myself yet but it does seem a lot lot quieter but there is a fix which can be done and um, yeah and all that's in this little box a brand new ZX Spectrum made from new moulds of the original casings new key mats everything all available from retroradionics.co.uk okay just as a final uh, test I've got the um, Sega joystick plugged into the first of the joystick ports, the one closest to the front which is for Kempston joystick interface uh, the one behind it is a Sinclair interface so you can use Sinclair joysticks uh, actually you can't use Sinclair joysticks, sorry I correct myself you can still use the same joystick but you can use the Sinclair it pretends to be a Sinclair interface so games that only use a Sinclair interface will still work with uh, the same joystick but in the other port so there's the game, there's the joystick pad let's start as you can see we're playing Jetpack, one of my favourites of all time so let's try and collect some bits, it's a bit difficult while I'm talking to camera as well and I'm dead but yeah the joystick works as well um, and overall I think it's a fantastic package really happy with it, the only things that I would mark it down for is no documentation but we've got the internet these days there's no reason to worry about that everyone's getting together on the Omni Facebook group and helping each other to set them up so if you do decide to buy one uh, other things to say there is a battery option you can charge rechargeable lithium ion cells in it and it will run directly from battery um, when you put them in it doesn't come with it and some of them haven't been connected to charge either but overall it's a great piece of kit well worth for the wait because it was a long wait for those of us who got involved first but now they're coming through quicker there is a laptop version coming out uh, which I won't be getting because I'm quite happy with this one and uh, overall it's a really good piece of kit and well worth the money well worth the wait